Hi, I'm Seth with Hornady. We're back for the last installment of the test of the 9mm Plus P 135 grain critical duty ammunition and it's automobile glass. Now this is standard quarter inch thick safety glass. It is set at a compound angle, so it's 45 degrees from the shooter and then 15 degrees laid horizontal. Um, this is to simulate the driver's side of a vehicle as you look at it from the front. Traditionally, a very tough barrier for bullets to get penetration into the gel. Now this bullet here, we're expecting 13 to 15 inches of penetration. As always, the gel is 18 inches behind the medium and we've got light clothing in front of it. Let's see how it does. So here we have the expanded bullet through glass. Now this bullet will expand as it goes through the glass, so we're trying to get the expanded material to shed from the bullet before it enters the gelatin. So the cantaloupe should be a nice clean shear point and it allow for a nice long depth of penetration and here we have it coming to rest right at 14 inches. As you can see, the bullet sheared off right at the top cantaloupe as it came through the glass, so it entered the gel in this state and that allows for that deep penetration of 14 inches. Now through the glass barrier this bullet should retain about 65 percent of its weight. There you have it. That's the 9mm Plus P 135 grain critical duty ammunition tested through all six FBI test barriers. I hope what these videos have outlined for you and what you've seen is how consistent we can make this bullet perform through any barrier and get very consistent depths of penetration. This flex lock bullet with the patented flex tip technology is ultimately what allowed the critical duty ammunition to be FBI tested and selected.